Three months and a half ago, someone notified me about a cat who was hit by a car and who couldn't walk. The cat wasn't close to me, but I wanted to help him, so someone drove him to me. We took him immediately to the vet. The vet made some x-rays and he had bones fractures. The vet said he could fix this, but the cat needed two surgeries. After the first surgery, the vet decided to keep him under his observation to be sure he was healing correctly. He could walk right after the first surgery, but not too well, as he had some rods that were fixing his bones. He wasn't allowed to make any effort, so he had to stay in a cage for an extended period. Yes, I love you too. After the second surgery, when the vet removed the rods, I was allowed to take him home. Now he was walking very well and his walking will even improve. In the meantime, he was neutered and fully vaccinated. His name is Amaro. He is also FIV positive, but this doesn't affect him. He can live a normal life even if he is FIV positive. Everyone needs to know that even if a cat is FIV positive, there is no reason to panic. FIV is not easily passed between cats and cannot be spread casually. It is not spread by sharing water or dishes, grooming each other, litter boxes, mock fighting, scratches, not even sneezes. FIV cats have exactly the same needs as non-FIV cats. They should all be spayed and neutered. Most FIV cats live long, healthy, normal lives with no symptoms at all. Amaro will stay in my care until he will find his human who will offer him the beautiful life that he deserves. <laughs>